Today, for the first time, I'm going to be watching Gulliver's Travels. I think that's what the movie's called. Honestly, I'm just watching this because it's a Jack Black movie. I'm a massive Jack Black fan. I know nothing about this movie. All I know is that I think I looked at the back, so I didn't even read it, though. Jack Black's in it. Uh, James Corden, uh, Jason Segal, Emily Blunt. Uh, there's, yeah, there's like a few people. Amanda Pet, Bill Connolly. Like, that's all I know. I see Jack Black holding a guitar, so hopefully that means that we get to hear him play. And on the cover, it just has like Jack Black and like a Glee thing and like Avatar. So I'm not really sure what it is. If he goes somewhere and he's famous or I know honestly nothing about the movie. It's the movie that I've watched or at least reacted to that I know the least about. I couldn't tell you a single scene, a single line anything. I barely even knew how to say the title until like a few minutes ago and I could be even wrong there. So I don't really have expectations for it. I don't know if this is known as a super good movie. I don't know if, I don't think it's known as like one of the best Jack Black movies. I don't know if it's known as a terrible movie. I guess we'll find out when we watch it. So let's do this. I don't even know who directed this honestly, so, or wrote it or anything. All I know, Jack Black and the rest of those people that I said. This is really weirdly shot so far. <laughs> Maybe it's just the intro. James Gordon, okay. I think this was like mid 2000s, so I don't know how popular James Corden was then. I know he was in some things. <laughs> oh, he's my brother. And you shouldn't have made out with him. True. True. I like the appetite for destruction thing in the back, of course. I feel like this was like very so close to the holiday. He looks very much alike. So this is probably like around then. I love how he's just wearing like a wildcat's like just a Casual shirt and they're all wearing suits. What are you doing this weekend? So much stuff. It's be, you know. Teenage relationships. <laughs> yeah, Middle school more specifically. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Why is this trying to be emotional right now? Such an interesting name. I don't get it right now. Oh, we'll see. He's gonna like find a way to like copy like one or like maybe do it well enough and then he's gonna be sent to travel and that's gonna be the plot of the movie probably <laughs> I gotta write this thing. <laughs> oh my that took me by surprise <laughs> yep safe yep wow nice so I was basically correct he copies it and then he gets it then he goes and it starts off the movie, okay. Off the grid, uh-oh. <laughs> like Pirates of the Caribbean. Walmart Pirates of the Caribbean. Well, all those visuals, though. Where did this go? What? <laughs> what? What the hell? <laughs> what? I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. Oh, is he thrown into an alternate world? Oh, uh, okay. I think that's gonna be it, because then he's gonna have all the stuff on the cover. I see. What? You are here with charge with aiding our sworn enemy, the Blood Duke. The hell? The fuck am I watching right now? <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah, we're gonna see his ass probably. Yep, yep. Oh no. <laughs> hey. The sound there. Oh. Hey, Emily Blunt. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Prevent the giant beast from running rampant and killing us all. What is this? Or putting them up Every his ass Fusion's like the last fight. one. I'm not a... you are in... James Corden, what? cool. Shouldn't Jack Black's voice be like echoing though? Because he's so massive compared to all of them though. Oh, no. The lamest of asses. I'm a big lame yeah. The biggest. I am kidnapped. <laughs> what? <laughs> you know, I'm kind of glad that this is like DVD quality. That's, I don't even think is as good as 720p because... I don't know how good the visuals would look in 1080p. <laughs> oh, I will listen to James Corden scream whenever, it's hilarious. Okay, I really like him. I don't care what people say about him. Please start pissing in there. 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 Come on. Come on. Yes! Yes! <laughs> this is exactly what I want. Yes. Yes. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't hug him, don't hug him, don't hug him. <laughs> it worked. That that was exactly what had to happen there. That was amazing. Oh my god. Now let's go party. 
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> So stupid, but that's amazing. I'm gonna check what year this is. 2010, really? Oh wow. I thought it'd be a few years earlier. I say Jack Black for president after Biden's done. Totally. You know what, I have to give them credit for how this is shot though, like with them looking small. I know it's visuals. I know, as I said, in 1080p it might not look as good, but like, that was pretty cool. That These are cool transitions. Does it look like CGI? Maybe, but for right now, it's, it's pretty impressive. It would be difficult to do. Wow. Oh, was that the thing he was looking at in the little magazine or thing? <laughs> yeah, this is kind of stupid, but I actually think it's kind of funny. <laughs> not even gonna lie. These are definitely song lyrics. <laughs> I feel stupid for not knowing it. One second. Oh, it's a Prince song. Okay. I was gonna say, I know this song somehow. I don't like that guy. It's really annoying. <laughs> I know this is the point of it. <laughs> what? Oh, it says just the Coke cans because it was okay. No, I'm stupid. Never mind. <laughs> no signal, but what? Never mind. I was gonna say they they have to fact check it or whatever, whatever it's called. Package mail time. Damn. <laughs> no stairway denied. No. <laughs> Tarps off, boys. He should just piss on them again. Wow. Even a DVD, the CGI is... Oh my. <laughs> oh, the 300 style. <laughs> this is like Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> ah, like this is the cover, okay. Nice. With the shorts. <laughs> oh, Jack Black really saves this movie. Yep. Of course. You're in danger of falling into Friendship Lagoon. What? Friendship yeah, Lagoon. Friendship Lagoon. <laughs> Pain. Spain without the S. It be not you, it be me. But I am it very be not you, it be me. Name one thing. In a Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Ever cross General Edward. <sighs> <laughs> Love how she just scuffed at that. Like, yeah, whatever. Oh, that is amazing. A goal size story. Wicked 007. G pad. Gully. Golvin Klein. Golvin at the opera. Lay Miss with Golvin. I didn't read it. Golvatar. This is like guilty pleasure at its finest. <laughs> with a little jam I wrote. <laughs> nice. Don't copyright me, YouTube. They love doing that for Guns N' Roses. Nice. Blue sky. Galax. Fuck. Hell. For I was forsooken. The forsookingness ends now. <laughs> Jesus. Whoa. Regular size? I wish this movie was more self aware. Just wish that. Make it a lot better. Oh, is it her now? Yeah, okay. Is Jack Black an epic saver? Probably. Is that the first thing people do when they wake up? They wake up and they go wash their hands? <laughs> yes. Yes, Harry Styles could never do that. Oh. <laughs> ah! Oh, okay. God. Oh, God. Fuck, this is so stupid. Oh. Uh, <laughs> okay, you're a child. <laughs> It's a massive parachute for a doll. Huh? You work in the mail room. Not today, I don't. Oh my god. Step on all the children, yes. No, I didn't say that. <laughs> what in the fuck? Uh -huh. Oh my god. Oh, oh fuck. You spin me right round. One less than perfect shot on Twitter, I call it. Yay. Oh, what a kick. Oh my god. What the fuck am I even watching? Oh, elbow drop. Oh my god. <laughs> Back to the future. Oh, what? Why do war? What is it good for? 
What's so civil about war anyway? Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. No way. This is exactly how the movie should have ended. Oh my god, this is so... I genuinely do not know what I'm watching anymore. Oh my god. Incredible CGI, my god. Okay, 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 okay. So... I honestly didn't have that high of expectations going in. I said I didn't know if it was going to be good or bad. I just kind of expected it wasn't going to be that good, but I didn't really want to say that because I was like, maybe I'll just, maybe it'll surprise me. I'll go in with an open mind. Yeah, that, that wasn't really that good. I wouldn't call it a terrible movie. I was going to say I wouldn't call it a bad movie, but I wouldn't call it a terrible movie, but it is by no means a good movie. I will say though, Jack Black, you know, maybe it's Jack Black playing Jack Black, but I will watch that any day of the week. He was really entertaining in this movie, you know, it, it's Jables being Jables, and I love that. I love Jack Black, one of my favorite celebrities, and one of my favorite comedic actors. Even if his movies like this aren't always the best, he's still one of my favorite just for his energy alone, and that was by far the best aspect of the movie, was just him. Just him alone, his performance, and just him being in the movie gave it something else, and yeah, I mean, everyone else was, I mean, all right. Like I kind of felt bad for them because you have some fantastic actors and they're like, Emily Blunt is amazing. And, I, and Jason Segal is really funny. Like I was thinking of this and then when I saw him, I obviously was like, he made Forgetting Sarah Marshall before this, one of the best comedies of the 2000s. And then he made this. I feel bad for him, but you know, this movie was not as bad as maybe people make it out to be. Is it a good movie? Not at all. Is it a movie that I, while watching, I was like, yeah, this could be a guilty pleasure. And then by the end, I was like, no, fuck, no, no. You know, it, did I enjoy watching it? Kind of. It was a very entertaining movie, I will say that, but not exactly for the right reason sometimes. You know, there were some good jokes in it, and there were some jokes where I was like, okay, that was smart. Most of them came from Jack Black, but it just had so many characters where I was like, what is happening? You know, I'm not even going to talk about logic for this movie because... I mean, look at this, and I didn't even know this is like a children's story or something like that. When I looked it up after, I was like, oh my god, this is actually that, so maybe I'm just uncultured. But this is a 1.9 average rating on Letterboxd, and I can see that. I would give this movie probably a 2 out of 5. That's not terrible, trust me, it could be much worse. And there were things about this movie where I was like, okay, this is pretty good. Jack Black, actually really solid in the movie for the character he's playing, okay? He's playing Jack Black in the movie. I'm totally cool with that. It had some funny things. It had some cool ideas. The CGI, I couldn't tell if it was good or terrible. There were some shots where I was like, oh, that looks bad, but it was also on a 720p, probably not even DVD. So, I mean, it kind of probably helped the movie because I don't think the CGI was the best, but 2010, what? Just, you know, I feel like Jack Black may have more movies like that. I want to watch Nacho Libre because I don't know how I haven't seen that. And High Fidelity. I've heard that High Fidelity is actually a really good movie. I'm just waiting to get that in from the library just so I can do, do the stuff and get the file. And this one. Don't ask me why we own this in my house. I don't know. Uh, apparently they bought it for $9.99 used which I don't recommend. Will I ever watch this movie again? Probably not. But did I hate it? No. It was just... Not that great, but it was not a terrible movie. Was it good? No, but what do you think of this movie? Comment down below. What are your favorite Jack Black movies besides School of Rock? Because School of Rock is obviously the GOAT. You know, I'm a big defender of movies like Tenacious D, The Pick of Destiny. I love that. Um, just there's a bunch that I still actually need to see. Tell me all that in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Over and out.